Hello Flutter developers, my name is Rama Heed and today I'm gonna show you how to fix uh, this issue, this annoying issue, button overflow by some sort of pixels. And this happens when you have a lot of elements in the screen and your screen is too small to fit all the elements inside it. Actually the fix is pretty, pretty easy but I want to show you how to use this main axis alignment to make the space uh, between uh, these three elements. I have here a line and column and and a bottom bar. The issue happens now, but we can fix this with a single child scroll. As you see, the problem is fixed because now the screen is scrollable. But the issue here, there is no space between them. And this whole line is useless. As you see, if we change it to end and end, nothing happens. How can we still use the main axis alignment of this column without having this issue? Let's remove this widget. And the fix for this, we can here add a resize to avoid the button uh, inside and make this false. And if we rerun again the app, now if we press on the three, there's no overflow happening. But the issue is the screen is still and you can see the buttons and you can scroll as you see. If we use this fix, we, we have to add a single child scroll view. But the main issue, you can't use the main axe alignment. This is the easy fix. How to use the main X alignment? Now this is what I'm going to show you. First we are going to remove this and remove this. We can use something called custom scroll view. And of course it takes some arguments or some attributes like slivers. It takes a list of widgets and inside the slivers add this widget. Sliver fill remaining and take a child. The child here it's going to be our whole screen like this okay and now we rerun the app and if we try the application now we still have the error but we have to fix this by adding this attribute which has a scroll body and make it false now hot reload no more have this issue and we have the screen and we can actually use the min x alignment you know like we can use it at end you can use it at start you can use it however we want I know this is going to help a lot of people, so I'd love to share it with you. If this video gave a 1% information that helped you, please give me a subscribe and please give me a follow. I'm willing to make a lot of this video tips and tricks of Flutter that may help other Flutter developers. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye.